and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Neverglade Drain. That's right, we're going to be uh, playing a Drain heavy deck uh, sent in by somebody on YouTube, kind of fix it up a little bit. We'll see how it does. Um, this is going to be a deck where um, we're going to be playing lots of units, going wide, slaying our own units, and trying to get you know a lot of damage in early, being aggressive, but then later on it drain the enemy nexus. So we're going to have um, all these cards that drain. Ruinous Path, Unspeakable Horror, Doom Beast, Camavoran Dragon, and Neverglade Collector. Of course, Neverglade Collector being the big one. I think this Camavoran Dragon could fit in pretty well here. Thought about this, thought about Astral Fox um, that can uh, slay one of your own units and um, deal three to the enemy Nexus. But I think I like this Camavoran Dragon more because this turns into a five, like the the fearsome's nice, but a 5-4 with Fury that uh, can drain more um, after that. I like that 5-4 body more than the 3-3, three, three. so going with that Camavoran Dragon. Um, Stalking Shadows is awesome in here when you're looking for cards like Doom Beast to get that extra drain in at the top end. We'll have all these different like Sand Soldiers, Saplings, spider, Spiderlings, all that kind of stuff. Just kind of just, uh, you know, attacking in where if they don't block it, they take one. If they block it... They probably still take one because <laughs> it never glade collector. And then finally, one Nasus at the top end um, that could uh, be pretty big if we're going to be slaying our own units and maybe slaying some of their units and stuff like that. I think that's just a nice like little top end card to have. Uh, I guess big top end card to have. So let's see how it does. Let's see how we do here with this Neverglade Drain deck. Looks pretty cool. We're going to go take it on over to Ring and play five games. Okay. So we got Sivir Action. Always a really difficult deck to beat, especially if they have Action. So we're hoping they don't have Action. I will send a 4-drop back. Um, but I kind of want to keep all of these. We should probably just send the Unspeakable Horror back also. But I don't know. It's it's not a bad card at all. We're going to keep the Stalking Shadows. It can be multiple bodies. I'm glad that we have the attack token on round 2 with the Elise. So you've been playing Aphelios Lux recently and getting the Mage Seeker 2-drop with the Aphelios weapon. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, 3 mana... That's true, 3 mana moon weapons do help out Lux a little more. You know, just you just need 2 of those. That's a pretty cool little combo. Have a good day at work, N Nasher. Take care. So, wish I would have kept the Unspeakable Horror. Well, that's all right. Yep, looks like that's what they're doing, and I'm glad that it's just that card and not uh, not sharp sight, so that it kills that also. So we get a two for one. So our one card took out two of theirs, and we get a one one. Not bad trades at all. No, they had the one card I didn't want them to have. I pull the strings. In and out. Okay, so we're just gonna take it. Pretty awkward hand for us. Right now, but the Neverglade Collector can do lots of work. Fate is what okay. I make. Hey, we get the Absolver out of their hand. Should have kept Unspeakable Horror. Honor is the oh, man. I have a good hand. Both Doomkeeper and Hapless Aristocrat are multiple bodies. That's good for Neverglade draining. I think I want the Dune Keeper. Or, you know, like if we go to the Collector, we can get lots of drains in, but I think we want the Dune Keeper. So 
there. At 17, we're gonna have to drain a lot. Quick attacks, no joke. Taking the Neverglade Collector would kind of protect me from Fight Spell, killing Neverglade, and give me insurance. This is justice. Hmm. I was scared of fight spell right there. Must be nice living off the floor. Talk is worthless. We are what we do. Maybe I should just play Neverglade. Stop. We've met before, Sivar, in another life. Tell that Sivar hi when I send you back there. Why? Oh, that makes. Life a lot worse. I not to bring that thing. I was definitely planning on just playing the two four ones and attacking with the two four ones, but now they have something that can survive a four one. Definitely makes life worse. Together we are part of something more. Together you are children of Shurima. Quick hands make quick work. I don't want them just to level up their Sivir, get the lucky find, all that kind of stuff. Um, Black Spear is definitely a really good draw. In and out. Robin blind. Knuckle time. Doing it. Watch your head. Danger pays. Swipe it off. So this would be leveled up Sivir before these two. So this Vagabond will have quick attack also. Dissident. Spear ready. Come, we have an empire. I suppose that they have another absolver pretty dead either way. Good sign. It's not Absolver. So our, our only hope is Neverglade. Neverglade is real hope. That's our only hope. So we can't have, we can't afford them to have any kind of, um, any kind of fight spell. No fight spells. No rallies. We have no fight spell, no rally. There's only three cards we don't know about. We could be fine. No fight spell, no rally, no overwhelm. Chance. They didn't have enough if they didn't have that card. 
but really good hand. Both champions and concerted strike and a bunch of removal. Very good hand opponent. Okay, I like our chances of winning this matchup a lot more than that one. Do we have time for Stalking Shadow? So round one, we go like Dune Keeper into Ravenous Butcher. Um, we have Unspeakable Horror to kill like a fearsome thing. Yeah, I think we'll have time for Stalking Shadows. We could also, I mean, we have the attack token. We're attacking for four. The thing is, like, if we wait till next round, then we have the Nightfall enabled for the Unspeakable Horror, which is pretty nice. But I guess we attack. Oh, I should just attack with a Doom Keeper, right? Because then put that to one health. Right, 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 right. Because it doesn't matter if my Doom Keeper is at one health. Definitely should attack the Doom Keeper. Then this thing, like, either they take one or that thing, you know, would have just died here. A little further, bingo. I'm waiting until I can enable Nightfall before playing this Unspeakable Horror. Hmm. Caretaker could be good. What's that noise? Weak willed fool. Oh no, is blocking this treasure seeker even worth it? I guess so. How are we doing on our slays? Make that three, four, five. Man, that's too bad. Don't get to double spell. Pretty beefy. Good old 1010. Pretty beefy. Looking a lot better just a little bit ago. Let's see. I like that black spear. Okay, so if we go caretaker, probably Azir. All right, so Azir, caretaker, black spear. Put something back on top, creating a couple of those. Everyone's a god. Tell the people 
So we could maybe even make a 3-1 challenger that'd be able to challenge and kill the pike. I just level up his ear. Yeah, so we have a 3-1 challenger here. Wow, another one of those? Wow. That's crazy. Not too much to do about it. Not really too much to do about it. That's, that's really unfortunate. Because if I... I can't attack with the Zier. Because if I attack with the Zier, everything dies. Because they, they just block the Sand Soldier, then it kills everything. Um, so basically it just kills the Azir. Man, that, that hurts. Yeah, but, yeah, Pike's a nutty guard. So let's see if we can do anything with this Cygnus n next round, Nightfall. That's kind of my plan. All right, so we know these two are just regular lurkers, right? Because these two are... So they have this this regular old 5-2. These two are, are lurker followers they created. And then this was the card they put back on top. Man, if you're going to have some... If you're going to have some lurker followers, that's a good one. All right, so 13 puts me down to 4, puts me down to 2. Why did they not play that before attacking? So each one of these adds two board spaces. Uh oh. Alright. We're not gonna win that. Double death from below. It looked great until double death from below. I really thought that we were gonna be winning that game. But double death from below. See how we do against Zillion Echo. I could certainly see us doing well against Zillion Echo. I think we have to replace Neverglade. Yeah, we should just replace these also. They're good to have. Cool, we need to find consistency. Perfect card for them. We have lots of predicts. Just gotta hope they don't find that. I don't bite. So probably gonna play the two three predict. Zillion, even better. Hey, they didn't find the hexite crystal right away. That's new. Recently, our opponents have been getting round two hexite crystals. Just a moment. I guess I could just block. I guess we could just trade for these. What's up, new Elise? There's nothing to fear. Hey Nans, good games. Just played against you at the Lurk Tech. Those those pikes were really good. They got me. Death from below. Very good card. <laughs> we can always rely on you There's to the keep Hexite us Crystal. Safe. I never love killing Zillion before 
like they have the second time bomb. Cool, wait, because they could have like Echo. I'd rather kill Echo. That's a good card. Our Black Spear is still enabled. Quite the dish, aren't you? Wow, they have had some luck here. Oh, perfectionist made more time bombs? That's I was like, how do they get so many of their you know only four time bombs? I guess that's how. Out. Still need three more for a zero, so could have played Caretaker to level up a zero, I suppose, but you know, didn't really want to caretaker away either of these. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is just absurd. Alright, so they've drawn all three that Practical Perfection has created. So obviously now like that Hexite Crystal plus the Stein Bomb just wipes the board for me, but we get, get some good damage in. Seven points of damage in. So we're down to six, don't usually have any Nexus healing. We could really use, you know, like a Hapless Aristocrat, or a Drop Order, or a Curse Keeper. Man, and then an Echo. Wow, their, their hand was absurd. Now they're gonna get the free. Never had luck, never needed. Easy to say with that Z drive of yours. Look at the free time trick. Certainly hoping no, no chrono break and no rally with chrono break. The dream. This is the Zillion dream. My opponent is living the Zillion dream. I think that's six time bombs now. And the Hexite Crystal. That was one of my best draws. Perfect amount of mana to play everything in hand. So it's kind of. Do they have Chrono Break or not? Um, Ooh, fresh soil. Or Hexite Crystal, hopefully not. Just, just have a bunch more 1 threes and 2 ones in your hand and 2 threes. And zillions. And that goes. Because if this works, I'll challenge you. Right now, none of these things are fearsome and can block the Camelvor and Dragon. Yes. Ah, uh, well, that's too bad. These are my streets. Alright, well, didn't work. 
I guess I didn't have to attack with like these, like those three things, I guess. Okay, so poor attack by me. I should have just challenged like the two one challenged the other thing. Yeah, they they got all these cards. We can see what our card is. Cool, it's curse keeper. And that was a ridiculous and ridiculous draws. So they played Zillion on two, Perfectionist on three, that hit time bomb and created new time bombs. And by round five, they'd already played. Like, like every time bomb the perfectionist created, like the, it just created like three time bombs right to the very top of the deck. That was absurd. The way that this could go wrong playing the onlooker first is if they have the two mana two three. Good. They do not have the two mana two three, so I think it was worth playing that onlooker. So we get some good fortune for once. That's really good for us. Like that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, it's still just like we can kill that thing anyway. Uh, it's actually just attack. I could play Azir. Yeah, we'll play Azir. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. It is time. Wow. Just taking it all. Alright, so they're down to seven. Oh, that would have been a great time for Neverglade Collector. I kind of thought that, you know, it was the 2-3, but I was kind of thinking it was like that 2-4 first. I want to play the Priestess this round, so we have to play a spell first. Oh, I'm sorry, Onlooker. I know, not a great time to play yet, but... I want to play the Priestess. And invoke. I'll take the Serpent. Calm mind and open heart greet the night. When others threaten, we must take action. Okay. So we shall open attack. Challenge there. This one of you doesn't get to attack. Yeah. Alright, now we want to hit, like... Doom Beast. Get that Doom Beast, get the win. Nope, we'll take Neverglade. Never glade for the drain. Today. 
Yeah, Cordex says he used to play this kind of deck a lot, and he used to be good, and yeah, that's... It's not as good in this metagame, but I think that... I think it could be good against Lurkers, but yeah, there's just a lot more power uh, in the metagame than what this deck has, and... Um, as Cordex said, a lot of... A lot of cards were nerfed in this deck. Poppy Ribbon. Okay, let's see if we can get another win and finish out with a 2-3. Two, 2-3 three. Two, is not bad. Alright, we're gonna send all those back. We're gonna keep this unspeakable horror. <laughs> yeah, now can we draw the, like, those cards that need us to sacrifice? I like that, uh, that we want to sacrifice. Okay, that's good. Aristocrat matches up well against Fleet Feather Tracker. Don't get overwhelmed. We can just kind of block with Spiderlings and Hapless Aristocrat and stuff. Doom Beast. Today's the day I find that hero. What's that noise? Yeah, I don't. I don't know if we can handle Poppy. So I could have played Doom Beast, so I could have had a 3-2 to block Poppy, and then, you know, Unspeakable Horror, but the problem with that, of course, is the Fleet Feather Tracker. They just, um, had the Fleet Feather Tracker challenge the Doom Beast. To get me out of here. So instead, we're going to go this route. All right, and because of like sharp sight and stuff, we want to do this after. We don't want to do that during combat, and then they sharp sight and then kill his ear. Hey, Lorenzo. That card's good against me. This is looking pretty poor. Definitely wish I didn't mulligan. Blighty Caretaker or uh, Ravenous Butcher. We haven't drawn anything that kills our own stuff. Like, we could try to Unspeakable Horror my own four, my own thing to get a 4-2, but... Not too much use in doing that. We can de definitely assume they're going to use whatever pump spell to save this, but might as well try. We also get to create, man, more ranged resolves. We get to create a Nightfall card, hopefully something we can play. Cool, we can play that. Give me another blocker. Darkness hides in my path. That's a terrible draw. Alright, so we drew really poorly this game. The yeah, opponent has Poppy. So they have round 4 Poppy attacking with the attack token round 4. We drew very poorly. And so add those together. And it's not competitive. Please, I have 
actions! Finally! Someone slays my own things. Any spell would have been really nice to have, you know, like, especially like a black spear. Would have been really nice to have. Poppy is just. Poppy does what Poppy does. So, um, if we. If we don't attack, we lose to Poppy. If we do attack, we lose. So, looks like we lose either way. Your fate was written. Guess we try to block, but. My shield is yours. Those Rangers resolves are really good, too. Already taking lethal because of all the impact. Sure. All right, time to get serious. That, that's what happens whenever you have like two halves of a deck that have to synergize together and you draw all of one half and none of the other half. So there we go. This this deck was just probably, you know, like there are some, some cool cards in here, but it was just probably a lot better a couple of metagames ago. Uh, new cards have been printed are just kind of too strong for this deck. Um, you know, playing against any kind of poppy deck with this is going to be pretty tough. But and there besides that, there's just been so many nerfs to this deck. Um, you know, Dune Keeper nerfed, uh, Curse Keeper nerfed, Azir nerfed, Blighty Caretaker nerfed, Stalking Shadows nerfed, Nasus nerfed. Makes life kind of difficult. All right, but you know, that's that's what we tried. So that's going to be it for Neverglade Drain. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck if you got any ideas for making it better. Would love to hear about it in the comment section because, you know, we didn't do very good and this was a viewer submitted donation deck and I wish that it would have done better. So if you got ideas, definitely let us know over there in the comments. But that's going to be it for Neverglade Drain. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.